July 13th, July 15th, July 19th, August 12th. In 2022, forest fires spread throughout France. 72,000 hectares of trees and other vegetation were burned. That's seven times more than the average for the last 15 years. Between 1976 and 2005, only a small part of France experienced a high fire risk for more than four days a year. But without a climate policy, by 2055, half the country could face a high fire risk for more than four days of the year. And this threat is already gaining ground. A new worry for some territories. How are firefighters coping with this new climate? Is France ready to live with even more fires? At first glance, this forest appears to be in good health. But it's becoming more fragile. Mostly due to climate change, which is increasing the evapotranspiration of plants, which are drying out. It also faces long periods without rain, causing the forest to be very dry. And with milder winters, parasites, usually slowed by frost, are flourishing. This leaves the forest with more and more dead trees and vegetation. In other words, fuel. Nine times out of ten, it's humans that start the spark. A cigarette butt, for example, is all it takes to begin a fire, helped by a little wind to set things off. This is what's happened in July 2022 in the Lons departments in southwestern France, when the Teste de Bouche forest was virtually wiped off the map. This small part in the north of the forest is all that remains. It's thanks to this road and changing weather conditions that it's still there. When a fire breaks out, getting to it as soon as possible is important, preferably with a fire truck to stop it from spreading. But here, fire trucks aren't able to use the narrow roads. A few dozen kilometers away, pine plantations were crisscrossed by 42,000 kilometers of prepared tracks, meaning they're wide enough for large vehicles to access the forest. And they're also equipped with water supplies. The Lond Forest is under surveillance. 20 or so watchtowers can spot the start of a fire from a 15 kilometer radius. In this area, the risk of forest fires is nothing new. In 1949, 50,000 hectares burned and 82 people died in a major forest fire. The disaster caused the region's leaders to rethink their strategy. Organizations financed in part by timber companies focused on developing their plantations to make them more accessible to firefighters. It's really a cross-functional partnership, from forest management through to the corrective phase. Since 1949, the risk of forest fires was well prepared for, but the summer of 2022 presented a renewed challenge. 22,000 hectares of managed forest burned. We have to be very humble. Even the most highly trained firefighters with the best equipment and a strong commitment on well-developed land can make a mistake. Anyone can be put at fault. According to these firefighters, France needs to reactivate a culture of awareness among the country's population. There really is a culture of civil security that needs to be deployed among the entire population. This involves adopting good habits to reduce the number of fires that start and knowing how to protect oneself from fires. When you live less than 200 meters from a forest at risk, there are rules to follow. The pink sections on this map represent the areas legally required to clear undergrowth. But what effect does this have? The aim is to reduce the amount of combustible substances within a 50-meter perimeter around buildings in order to protect them. 50 to 70 percent of the buildings concerned are not in compliance with this rule. This could lead to disastrous situations for firefighters. We'll sometimes need two, three, four vehicles to come and protect the home and save it. It mobilizes us, which can encourage the outbreak of the disaster in other areas, because we'll be diverting resources to come and protect what we call sensitive areas. In forests where the risk of wildfire is historically low, like here in the Morven Massif, there is no obligation to clear undergrowth. But between 2018 and 2022, the average annual number of forest fires doubled compared with the previous five years. 
To counter this, one local official says that France needs to focus on prevention. First of all, I'd say there needs to be a real awareness strategy, because I think a lot of people don't really understand the reality of the forest's vulnerability. This Côte d'Or senator is behind a bill that passed its first reading in the Assemblée Nationale in May 2023. The bill calls for an increase in penalties for failure to comply with the legal obligation to clear undergrowth. And it also details a restriction that would leave a lasting impact. We recommend banning smoking in forests from now on, because we know how much damage can be caused by a cigarette butt thrown away totally unintentionally and totally unconsciously. This ban would only be applied when the forest is subject to a fire hazard. But this is not always visible to the naked eye. To better understand when forests face a fire hazard, France's National Weather Service developed a forest weather forecast. Here's one they made for July 18th, 2022. The chart includes details on the rain, air humidity, temperature, wind, and vegetation dryness. As the risks increase, so do the resources needed to extinguish any fires. In October 2022, Macron announced the renewal of France's fleet of 12 water bombers, including four additional aircraft and two water bomb helicopters by 2027. An additional 150 million euros was also allocated to the French departmental emergency services by 2023, including here in Morvan where the local emergency services will increase its fleet of vehicles and train more firefighters. Knowing how to rapidly deploy a unit to communicate under stressful conditions and protect themselves in the face of unpredictable circumstances. Until now, firefighters in this department were not routinely trained to fight forest fires. Forest fire training was a specialty that firefighters who were interested in the subject undertook. Now we want to make it a part of core training. Our aim is to train 50% of our staff by 2026. They want to train firefighters and recruit more of them. But the French Federation of Firefighters is struggling to increase its workforce. Today, it counts 41,800 professional firefighters and 197,000 volunteer firefighters. The goal is to reach 50,000 professionals and 250,000 volunteers within four years. But the recruitment process does not seem to be going as well as hoped. Only 700 volunteers signed up for 2021, whereas more than 8,000 would need to sign up every year until 2027. These lower than hoped for signups can be explained by a change in the firefighter's primary activity. We've moved away from emergencies and toward non-emergency assistance, which isn't necessarily what firefighters signed up for. In 2021, 80% of interventions were for personal assistance and 5% for fires. One third of these were vegetation fires. To deal with the soaring number of fires, more preventative measures are needed, along with increased resources and more firefighters. French firefighters are overstretched, according to the country's department head. France's firefighters are the only ones in Europe to provide emergency assistance to people. Today, this activity is directly impacted by a lack of medical staff. This is affecting us on a daily basis. Last year, in the middle of summer, we had to deal with hailstorms, and then, a few weeks later, forest fires and field fires. There are many facets to global warming. And now, they are also on the front lines of climate change.